I was driving my car on Mill Plain Boulevard when the storm hit. I guess I drove right into the storm. What did you think had happened? I didn't know. It was all dark and black and trees were going down and the power poles were going back and forth and I really didn't know. It just happened. And I guess you're glad today to be going home. Oh, I sure am. I just remember that a windstorm hit our school and the sewing just broke down and the door fell and my class ran out and the door fell on top of some of us. Who pulled the door off of you? The high school boys. I bet you were glad to see them, weren't you? Mm -hmm. But one thing, then I couldn't walk. You couldn't walk? Right. Well, then what did they do with you? They carried me. Well, to where? First to buy the portables, got me a chair and sat me down on it. Then they walked me a little ways to the high school. Then the policeman took me to his car. Then, in, then I was in a nap. But then I was at the high school. Well, I was at the control desk, and a terrific wind came up, and the ceiling tile started blowing out of the ceiling right toward the control desk. So I started running down just to hold the doors closed because we really thought it was just a heavy wind. There's three of us there, Don, uh, Carl Krieger and Don Woods and myself holding the doors closed and it hadn't probably been 30 seconds after we got there and the whole roof just went right up in the air and then the walls after the roof went, the walls and door went just almost completely over our head. Kansas Street of the McLaughlin Heights area of East Vancouver was hard hit by Wednesday's tornado. Today, homeowners here are busy. Busy cleaning up, busy repairing, and busy checking insurance policies. Well, Mr. Dixon, we were told that your house was probably the most severely damaged house in the entire Vancouver area. Uh, what are you going to have to do about it? Well, uh, they're going to uh, adjust it. The building inspectors have looked at it, and uh, what they're going to do, actually, so far, I don't know completely what they're going to do. Uh, either complete repair or rebuild one of the two. I don't know of any... Uh, right now, they haven't assessed it as yet, so I'll just have to wait and see. Our, uh, our insurance people have... Uh have made contact with us this morning. They've been just great. They've uh, they've taken care. In fact, I have one check already for the wife's car. What happened to her car? I I would assume that his his debris that was flying through the air had uh, taken part of her final top and tore it and gouged it. It has worked just wonderful. Everybody has helped each other. They brought sandwiches and coffee, and uh, we we got our fireplace going so that at least have a place to get warm and we've all helped each other that's the only way we you know we, but they, everybody's been most cooperative and helpful well all I did to my house is break a couple of windows and take some roof shingles off the roof and broke my garage doors and screen door here but not any extensive damage to my home at all took my back fence out did you uh, lose any of the contents of your home no none at all do no. you have power now Yes, we got it about 5 o'clock this morning. They worked all night and got our power back on for us. It really, really worked great for us that way. Have you had a chance to uh, meet neighbors that you've really never known before? Oh, yes. We've met a lot of people around, uh, come by and offered help. Or uh, There were people here last night patrolling the area so that no vandals could come through. And uh, Of course, the police were very good. They stopped by and talked to us. But we've had a lot of people come through that just said, is there anything we can do? Or you know, would you like anything to eat or do you need a place to stay? It's been really tremendous. One resident of the area told me that today there are no strangers. He said it's real encouraging to see people concerned about and helping others. Some people have lived near each other for years, but until the swirling funnel of destruction hit, never reached out. Dick Bogle from McLaughlin Heights in Vancouver for Eyewitness News.